it's sad that, you know, we as a society, you know, still look at that word appearance and not so much the inward. Ed Port is 38 years old from Austintown, Ohio. Some people, you know, are standoffish and some people don't. I always know how to take my kindness, but I guess that's their problem. Ed Port is a regular guy, likes to cook, works nights at a call center for customer service, and he has dreams of getting married and having children. Probably I was like 25 to where my dad says, you know, I can only imagine the things that you've gone through. When did you first notice that you had this disease? Was it from birth? When I first noticed is probably when I was seven. How was that? Well, because people were making fun of me, uh, you know, calling me monster, fat face. Ed has neurofibromatosis. It's a genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow on nerves. Is it painful at all? It used to be when I was little. If I get bumped the wrong way, then there's some pain. During his childhood and his teen years, Ed had roughly 20 surgeries paid for through his father's health insurance. Ed is an only child. Growing up was difficult for him. People have not always been kind. Tell me how people treat you. I even had one instance where there was a, a mother and a, and a child, and the mother just looked at me and then covered her her child's eyes. Ed remembers one particular Halloween. The person said, ah, oh, nice, nice Halloween costume. And I just, just looked at him and said, thank you. And just <laughs> walked away. Ed can live a full life. He's lost vision in his left eye and hearing in his left ear. His condition is not life-threatening, so getting surgery to change his face has been a challenge. It seems like some of the insurance companies consider it cosmetic because it's not life-threatening. And not covered. Ed says he's tried several different insurance companies over the years and the answer is always the same. No. Ed does not have any health insurance at all. So this whole entire time where the insurance company is saying we're not going to cover it, I'd have been throwing away what little money I had on insurance that's not going to work. What's the hope? Is to find a doctor who can do the surgery. Uh, get, his, get my face corrected as much as possible, for one. Uh, to also bring awareness to people what near fibromatosis is. Hi, Ed. How you doing? Good. I said, you know, they how shouldn't be afraid to talk to us. We're not monsters like some people <laughs> might say. We're very capable. Ed's friend and co-worker says Ed is a gentle human being who cares about people. He sees how people can stop and stare. I have seen uh, people in, in cars, uh, and when they drive by and see Ed, I've seen them just like, you know, turn their heads like this, and, and they're, they're literally gawking at him. Ed has a website where he hopes to bring awareness to the disease and get donations to pay for the surgery he prays for. Not only am I asking, you know, God to, you know, especially, you know, with the, the tumor, uh, either one, heal me, uh, or also two, to help find a doctor who can help me. Ed's courage has been an inspiration to others. He remembers what one man in a wheelchair once said to him. I see that you're getting out every day, doing everything that everyone else does, and he says, if that if you can do that, he says, there's no excuse for me sitting at home in a wheelchair doing nothing. And he said, I want to thank you for being here. Wilma Smith, Fox 8 News.